I found a five-week-old baby squirrel and decided to give him his own spotlight in front of the camera. I didn't set out to take in an orphan baby squirrel, but here I was feeding this tiny creature puppy formula through a syringe at 2 a.m. A five-week-old baby squirrel looking for its mommy scratched and chirped at my basement office window. When I saw it turn off and head for the street, I ran out to keep it off the road. I tried leading it back to the garden with my feet and instead it hopped onto my sandal and stayed there. I was officially adopted. Following instructions from the internet, we tried to attract its mother, but sadly she didn't return. We took it in and cared for it as we tried to find it a more suitable home. I've never seen a baby squirrel ever. Not only was it adorable, but it was also friendly and had a personality that I kind of never seen and thought of squirrels as having. Oh, and they're really grippy. I see squirrels scaling trees easily, but you don't get a real sense of how incredible and effortless their grip is. Little twigs stuck to us like Velcro as he climbed up our shirts and into our hoodies looking for a warm bed. I'm a Montreal photographer who specializes in weddings and lifestyle family and newborns. A different kind of newborn photo shoot, but I couldn't help myself. Being so big on personality and so cute when sleeping, I decided to give Little Twig his very own spotlight in front of the camera. The garden photos were easier since lifestyle is my thing and I went with his flow. The posed newborn style ones were more challenging because baby squirrels are squirmy and easily woken too, which makes it hard for posing. A heating pad helped to create a cozy nest and lots of patience finally paid off. Little Twig was rehomed a few days ago to a farm that takes in orphaned animals. He'll be safe and happy there until his release at 12 weeks. I felt it was my duty to bring his extreme cuteness to the internet. Enjoy!